What is up guys, HBFC here and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 2. So it's time to start the plant chapter. So uh, here we go. So yeah, this is this takes place two years after the events of the tanker. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shack. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark. A symbol of environmental protection. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armored group. Do we have an idea? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad of Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. Sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up in the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the base ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. This will be your first sneaking mission. The arms will naturally have to be procured on site. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the codec button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the codec button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. 
All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. All right, yeah, so this is what disappointed me so much back in the day when I was a kid. Solid Snake is not the main character of Metal Gear Solid 2. It's Raiden, who is a bitch, and I hate him. Yeah, um, and this was at a time when, you know, we didn't know everything about a video game before it came out, so this was, I had no idea, this was kept a secret, and uh, <laughs> it sucked. Anyway, I'll talk more about Raiden before too long, but um, we dive in here, actually. Uh, what we can do is go down here and find some... Oh, for fuck's sake. Got your feet wet. Yeah, I don't even know how to swim, Colonel. This is one of the issues with the game. The codec calls are fucking ridiculous. This, it gets frustrating because of how many they are. They went way overboard. And lots of them you just kind of feel like they're completely unnecessary. So, yeah, it takes a while for this uh, part of the game to get going. I mean, coming off the, cha uh, the, ta the tanker chapter, <laughs> it's just kind of like a kick in the nuts, these parts here. But, um, yeah, I got some thermal goggles there. So let's climb on out. What's with these bugs everywhere? Look at this. It's a scruffy place, isn't it? Someone get the cleaners in. Right, actually, over there, that, that's a shaver right there. I'm not going to get the shaver, because let's just say I don't like the effects of it. I'm not going to go into any more of it, because it's kind of a spoiler. Just in case there are those watching who may have, you know, never played the game before and, you know, don't want anything spoiled, but there's a, there's a ration down there. It's kind of a long way off. I think there's a quick way to get to that, but I've taken a long way, so oh well. I will grab it anyway. I am on hard mode, so I'm going to need all the health I can get. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> At least I don't have to answer those ones. I'm not going to answer any codec calls. I don't need to. Oh, right. Oh, right. I'll tell you what. What am I doing here? Get these controls wrong. Oh, no, there isn't a quicker way. I thought there was. Oh, okay. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go back then. Where's the vent? There it is. Yeah, normally I'd tell you, you know, the days where we didn't know everything about video games before they came out was a good thing, because no, I do think it was better that way. Because I think we know far too much now before games come out, thanks to all these websites and YouTube and stuff. But I guess in this case, <laughs> it wasn't a good thing. I wish I'd have known beforehand it would have been quite as devastating. I was literally angry as a kid. I was like, no! Um, I'll admit, ballsy move by Kojima to do it. Very ballsy. Do you know what I mean? Going for that. I mean, I guess playing it safe would have been to stick with Snake, but... Anyway. Oh! I hear, I hear some... A ruckus going on behind this door. What have we got? Sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment, is Russian-made. Must be a Grilukovich man. Grilukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. they become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country.
that's the thing he likes to call the colonel about everything. Colonel, I've just farted. Colonel, I have a small dick. Colonel, I'm a bitch. Colonel, I just breathed in and breathed out again. I mean, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd. Node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? A radar system. Uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nanomachines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. Oh man, maybe one day we'll get around to doing this freaking mission. Oh, Colonel, I just blinked. And again. I just blinked again. Jesus. Right, let's get to this uh, node. Alright, well, my name is Ash, I am male, believe it or not, um, and my birthday is 1989, showing how old I am there, uh, oh, it's the other way around, isn't it, we do, um, so my birthday is the 9th of February, but uh, that's how we say it in the UK, but I guess it's, it's uh, the other way around, isn't it, in other places. I don't know. At least no. Yeah, that's 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 February. Okay, I'm getting confused here. And then that's the nine. That's my birthday. I have no idea what my fucking blood type is. I don't even know their own blood type. I have no idea. I've got blood. It's red. Uh, that's but nationality UK. Well, my nationality is English. I don't like it when. It, why is it always UK? Why can't we have specifics? I'm from England. They're not the same thing. So anyway, that's enough. Yep, 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 yep. All good, 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 good. Let's crack on. We're getting nowhere here, are we? Oh, fuck me. Good work, Raiden. The radar should be functioning now. Let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. The Big Shell's layout map should now be available after touching the pause button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves, and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? 
Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Bryden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane! I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. It's the day at Ride and Learn. It was a bitch. Alright. There's a guy down here. I'm pretty sure this guy isn't down here on the, uh lower difficulties. So let's get ready for him. There we go. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. Right, they can't um they can't go for backup, so you don't have to worry about any more anyone else coming. But uh also you know it, there was a reference to Titanic you might have picked up on uh Rose and Jack. You know the the tanker ship that sunk in the beginning. So yeah. Yeah, the whole Rose relationship is kind of annoying as well with Raiden. Um, apparently it's based off uh, some of um, Kojima's real life experiences with his uh, his wife or something at the time, or his wife-to-be or something like that. Alright, um... this guy so I can get him over here and then I'll try and get behind him and take him out. Hmm. <laughs> Shit. It's the enemy. I need <laughs> Yeah, how about that? Look at you both. Will you guys stay unconscious, please? Nope, no backup. Alright, they're both out. They won't be out for long though. Ration. They are asleep. Let's go. Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. 
the hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training, after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the President? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. Yeah, so this is Raiden. At first glance, he looks like a woman. He looks very feminine. He sounds quite feminine. He's basically the complete opposite to Solid Snake. Uh, he's not very cool. He's whiny. He's inexperienced. He's too emotional. Um, I, 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 I totally see what Kojima was doing with this character and why he did it, but I'll never like Raiden. I never will. So we've got a bandage there. Also, you may have picked up on the fact that... Um, when Colonel was talking about the uh, the codec and stuff in the radar or whatever, it w he, he uh, basically he said word for word exactly what Mei Ling said in uh, in the first game during Shadow Moses, and that elevator sequence was very similar as well to the sequence with Snake in Shadow Moses. So hmm. anyway, oh god, I slipped in bird shit. That's it. Raiden's dead. Mission over. Fish and mailed. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to do it for this part, guys. I'll see you next time. I hate you, Raiden. <laughs>